So I was just sitting out in my car. And I was just thinking about some stuff I'm experiencing right now, right now in my life. And I've been questioning God about it. But I haven't really like opened up my mouth and really prayed and questioned him about it. It's kind of more so like I'm just, these are the questions of my heart. Hey, y'all said it like I see. These are the questions that I'm pondering in my heart. You know, the stuff that I'm thinking that's on my mind that I'm not saying. Or just how I'm feeling. But I'm not speaking it. But see, God is so good. Hey, y'all said it like I said it up I say. That he will even send the Holy Spirit. Even when you don't ask. Even when you don't open up his mouth. You're like, you know what? I'm not about to bother God about that. I'm healing from I'm healing from that. I'm learning to forgive from that. I'm moving on from that. I'm letting that go. Yes, it still hurt me. Yes, it still bothered me. But I'm letting that go. That's, that was me yesterday. I'm like, I'm not going to bother God about that. I'm letting that go. I'm going to just let that be. But God loves us so much. He's still going to come. I didn't call God. He still came and gave me a message. So today, I'm out of my business. And God begins to minister into my spirit. That it is not your fault. That is what God said to me. He said, it's not your fault. See, God is saying, it is not your fault how someone chooses to treat you. It is not your fault if somebody want to be unforgiving. It is not your fault if people don't want to let go of the past. It is not your fault and it is not your responsibility. To try to change the characters of others. You are responsible for you. You are not responsible for others. And what others do. If somebody did something to you. And they refuse to apologize to you. It is not your fault. If somebody wronged you in any kind of way and they know they wrong and they refuse to acknowledge where they're wrong at, it is not your fault. Some people will really go through this life in real life, in real life, and convince themselves and they mind that you is the only person wrong in a situation. Yes, I may have be I may be wrong, I may have done wrong. But in, for order of, in order for us to be, you know, paired along side by side, you had to partake in some of it. At what point was you wrong? At what point did you fail to hold up your end of the bargain? At what point of it that you could have stepped up and did something that made a difference? Listen. We ain't got time to be spending time on this. I came here today to tell you it is not your fault. It's not your fault that they won't forgive you, that they wouldn't love you, that they wouldn't accept you. It is not your fault that you trigger these folks without doing anything. You just show up. They trigger. They going off. You don't know what's going on. It is not your fault. You can walk in the room with a smile. Hey, how y'all doing today? This them. Baby, listen. It's not your fault. A lot of these folks got to learn how to take accountability. How you said it like I said. Take accountability for their self, their part. Start looking at yourself. Sometimes it ain't other people. Sometimes it got to be you at some point. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes people do do things. That's true. At some point, you got to turn. You got to stop pointing the finger. You have got to start looking at you. Now, in my case, I done sat down 
and took a look at myself. I have. I've been putting the work in. I've been talking to God literally. I said it like I said. Give God everything, all of me. I've been working on me. Forgiveness, all of my wrongdoing, all of my sins, all of my transgressions. I've been working on me. Now, see, this is how I can be assured. It's not me this time. Now, I know I'm more peaceful at this point because, listen, I'm working with God. I'm trying to work with others. I'm trying to treat them right. I'm obeying the Father, what he tell me to do. Okay, so at this point, I'm in a clear. I'm constantly clearing my conscience. Now, at some point, somebody in the world needs to hear. You have got to stop pointing the finger at everybody else. At what point? What point? Are you going to take accountability for your decisions, your actions, where you went wrong, and what you need to fix about you? You need to fix something about yourself. People can point out all day long where you're wrong at, where you need to get better at, what you need to fix. Scratch all of that. Let's start here. Let's start with self. What can I do to better myself? How can I better my thought process? What can I do to change my speech? What can I do to change my ways? What can I do to become more kind? What can I do to become more loving? What can I do to obtain forgiveness? To give forgiveness? To receive forgiveness? Let me tell you something. Some people in this world, honey, is as stubborn as a bull. They stubborn. You ever try to love somebody? I'm talking about you try to force yourself on somebody. Hey, I said it like I said it about yesterday. With everything that you can, you done exhausted all options. You like, I don't know why this person won't accept my love. I don't know why this person just don't like me. You trying to buy the person. You trying to talk to them. You trying to hug them. You trying to I love you to death. You like I said it like I said. Whatever you got to do. For the kindness of your soul. You is throwing your whole self on this person. I mean everything that you have. You're just throwing it on them. And they won't accept it. See. I don't know what rejection or neglection or what happened that you experienced that you don't want to accept love. But baby, listen. Where I'm getting at, it is not your fault. Stop being wrapped up, so wrapped up in these people and their emotions. See, what it is is we so worried about other people and their emotions, we forget about ourselves. They forget about us too. Because see, what happened is we put the focus on them for so long. Okay, now I decided to take my attention from you. You know what? I'm going to remove the cushion that's from under you. I'm going to accept finally. I've been chasing you all these years. You didn't want the love. Now I done decided, you know what? I'm chasing after this person. They don't want my love. Well, let me just go ahead and take my love somewhere else where it'll be appreciated. You done made up your mind. You gonna let this person go. You know what they do? Oh, Lord, they want to act a fool now. They want to act a fool. Oh, my goodness. They ain't trying to paint you out to be what you ain't. They know all the good that you done need. Now, see, they ain't put you up there on the billboard for that and make it a loud speaker. Oh, babe, you do you do that one thing, you walk away. You walk away, you hurt them folks. You hurt them folks when you walk away. You want to know how to get resolved this? Why well, I'm telling you it's not your fault. You walk away. Walk away. Don't give it no, no energy. No energy. 
I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm going through this right. You better not give it no energy. Them folks are drain your dry. You better not get that thing no energy. You better not. It's not your fault. Their actions is their responsibility. It is not your fault. Go ahead on, move on. In Jesus' name, amen.